The map is not the territory. It's a fundamental understanding in coaching. The map refers to our own perception of reality and the territory refers to the greater world outside of us. So the, here we need a deep understanding. As humans, we create a representation of the world and of life and of reality. And if we look at the concept of a map compared to the actual territory, wherever you stay, if you take a map of the local area, the information on the map is a representation of the greater area, the real area. But the map is extremely limited to the volume of information it represents. Not all of an area can be shown on a map. It's a representation of an area. A map is merely a document or a representation of the area that we use to find our way to know where to turn left and where to turn right so that we can reach our destination. So a map is merely a document or a concept that has got limited information on it, but sufficient information we believe that can guide us to a specific point. In life, we create a similar concept about reality. We have our own internal representation of the world. We cannot carry all of the information about life and the world in our minds. So what we do is we are very selective and we take from our existence information which we believe is relevant to us, that we believe will guide us and help us on this journey of life. But we need to understand that that map is not the fullness of life. It is merely a limited representation that each individual holds. Now, the key factor behind the map is not the territory, is we need to realize that every person has got a unique map. We construct our own map and it's based on our own personal experiences, our past, our beliefs, our values, our emotional states, our sensory perceptions we have, our memories, our interaction in this world, all of these factors influence our perception of reality. All of these factors influence what we believe our map to be. The word territory obviously refers to life, the greater existence outside of us. And there's a vast amount of information that we have to deal with. And we cannot absorb all of the information about life. So we create mental maps of our reality. But those mental maps are extremely individual. But here's some, one really interesting fact about our maps. If we want to change how we experience life, if we want to change behaviors, if we want to change reactions, responses, if we want to install new and better habits in our lives, if we want to become better versions of ourselves, the first thing that needs to change is our map of the territory. If we can shift the map, if we can shift our own interpretation of what we are capable of, if we shift our own interpretation of what happens to us, what we can take control of, what influence we have, what control we have, then we shift the decisions and we shift our behaviors. The result in our lives is a direct derivative from how our map is shaped. What is in our map of reality? What's in the map that we have? Our internal mental perception of this world. If we bring shifts in those maps, results happen. As a coach, I very often coach my clients for one purpose, and that's to bring a shift in their map. If there's a person that's got a map that's not serving them, then we assist them to change the map. If someone has a map of the world, of reality, that serves them, and it's a good and healthy map, then we don't change the map. Then that map serves them. But if there's something, an unwanted behavior, a limited belief, a concept that's distorted, that does not serve them, that constantly brings negative and unwanted results in their lives. The first place we start is in the map. 
the perception we have of reality. So in essence, we can really, in practical terms, assist people to realize that the concept of the map is merely a perception. It's a sub subjective experience. And because it is subjective, it varies from person to person. Because it is subjective and it's merely a perception, it means it can be changed. My perception of the reality that I perceive in this world can be changed. It can be altered through shifts in values, through shifts in beliefs, through shifts in the way I think, what I think about, what I think about most of the time. It can be shifted through my decisions I make in life. It can be shifted through my behavior. And all of this will result in a different interaction with this world. And as I interact with this world, that information I now get because of this interaction, that feedback, that goes back into my beliefs and my values, and that starts to shift my perception of reality. So my map is not final. Once I do have a map of reality, once I have a perception, it never ends. My map is always in progress. It's always being shaped. The question is, how is it being shaped? What is shaping it? And can I shape it into a way that serves me? So let's look at some of the elements in the map. <clears throat> 